and welcome to BDE's Spring Awakening Hopla. I'm so excited to present to you an incredible lineup of performers from countries all over the world. And here is a welcome message from the queen of BDE herself, the lovely Jelena. Thank you, Olga. Welcome to our Spring BDE and BDX Spring Hofla, we are excited for some change to come. This has been an incredible year. And BDE is a theatrical production. We are currently doing The Jungle Book. One year ago, we debuted the show in Germany. And since then, as you know, we've all been in lockdown. So these are ways for us to connect through our theatrical productions, even if we're online. So thank you again, Olga, for producing this wonderful Hofla for us. Uh, BDX is also the Jelena BD Experience, which is a training program for intermediate to professional level dancers. We're currently doing The Wizard of Oz, and fingers crossed, we are going to be in Denmark this November. Let's see how everything goes. If the world is opening back up, we got the vaccine coming in, so let's just all uh, cross our fingers. We have an incredible lineup with dancers from around the globe. Without further ado, it is my pleasure to introduce our first performer, Faraya, representing China and the USA. Faraya will be performing to the enchanting music of Paul Din Latir from BDE's original production, Alice in Wonderland. Faraya also performed with the BD Experience in Virginia and starred as the Tin Man in The Wizard of Oz. Please enjoy Faraya's magical performance.
for that wonderful performance. They say that spring is a time for awakening and rebirth. And our next performer, Lavona Brendan Camp from South Africa, is dedicating her dance to just that inspirational concept, rebirth and awakening. COVID has hit her heart. Like many of us, we lost our motivation. And this Hafla came at a perfect time to give her the motivation she needed to get back on track and share her love of dance with all of you. Please welcome Lavona to the screen, performing a beautiful lyrical Egyptian piece. for that beautiful and graceful performance. We are grateful that you found our Hofla as an inspiration and motivation to keep dancing. Our next performer, Dana, feels that one of the highlights of her dance career was participating in BDE's Wizard of Oz in Virginia in 2020. She is going to show us a sassy Saidi piece. Did you know that Ra Saya, or the stick dance that we often see in belly dance shows actually originated from the men's Tahfib dance. The Gawazi women in Upper Egypt 
were the first female dancers to dance with the sticks. Now let's enjoy Dana's sassy Saidi piece. take you to Spain physically, but I have an incredible surprise for you. Our next performer, Shazadi, is performing a flamenco fusion, and I know that's one of your favorites, to the classic Um Kao Sum and to Omri Song. I can't wait for you to see this. Let's go ahead and take a look.
اللي شفتو اللي شفتو for that beautiful memory of España. What a beautiful arrangement of Entaomri and what an elegant costume. Speaking of elegance, our next performer looks like a dancing goddess. She's not only a Pilates instructor and a mother of two, she managed to do the Wizard of Oz twice. Please welcome to the screen, Christy Hill with an improvised, emotional, and romantic song by Nancy Aldrin. Thank you. 
for that wonderful performance. You know, one of my favorite things about the spring is how many different cultural celebrations there are. For example, we have Noruz, which translates to New Day, and it is celebrated by countries along the Silk Road, such as Iran, Afghanistan, Uzbekistan, among many others. It symbolizes the beginning of the new year, and it coincides with the vernal equinox, the day that the sun crosses the celestial equator and day and night are equal. Another culture that celebrates the welcoming of spring with a special holiday is Russia. We have a holiday called Maslenitsa. This holiday lasts one week and happens 40 days before Lent, during which we eat sweet, buttery, delicious foods, also known as blinli or Russian crepes. I wanted to share a small piece of my culture with you today by showing you a dance called Kharavod. Now typically this dance is performed by many, many beautiful dancers and they weave in and out to make beautiful formations. Um, I'm going to show you a condensed version of that and I hope you enjoy. А в глазах твоих небо синь, ты любовь моя, долгожданная. Не покинь меня, не покинь меня, не покинь. Ты любовь моя, долгожданная. Не покинь меня, не покинь меня, не покинь. Дороже мне стала ты даже капелькой Своей нежности не остынь Через сотни лет, через тысячи Не покинь меня, не покинь меня, не Небо синь, ты любовь моя, долгожданная. Не покинь меня, не покинь меня, не покинь. Ты любовь моя, долгожданная. Не покинь меня, не покинь меня, не I love watching dances from other countries and learning about cultures. So thank you so much for that, Olga. I really appreciate your your efforts. You're so, you know, the one of the things I love about you the most is you're always raising the bar with your dance and you're so versatile. I never know what to expect whenever I see you. So thank you for that. And what a special treat to see Fiona on the screen as well. I am really thrilled to introduce our next performer. Yarit Roll. She's going to be fusing urban dance, belly dance, tribal fusion, even some tutting in there, to the incredible music by Ofra Haza. She is a very, very unique performer.
Back in ancient times, loving was a crime for a single girl like the beautiful Dal Dahia. Sisters barred her way, but she couldn't wait. She spurned her father's hand and took her man, despite tradition. watching that. Yaritz, thank you for that extremely powerful performance. You know, one of the reasons I love hosting these Hafla live streams is because I get to see how versatile our BDE team really is. Ksenia from Slovenia, another versatile dancer who has prepared a wonderful gypsy fusion piece for us. Ksenia believes that in every woman's heart and soul lives a little gypsy woman who helps her survive difficult times and gives her strength and energy. Please enjoy Senya's beautiful Gypsy Fusion piece. <laughs>
Thank you, Ksenia. That was so unique. I'm so glad you chose to perform something so unique and authentic. Speaking of authentic, I'm really excited to share with you our next performer. She's doing something that is not done very often, specifically in weddings or clubs, but it's one of my favorite styles of dance. It's so elegant and it's such a pleasure to watch. Oh, I know what you're referring to. Mawasha Hat. Yes. Mawashahat is a genre of Arabic poetry that dates back to 10th century Andalusia when the Moors ruled Spain. At the time, there was no specific way to dance to this music until Mahmoud Reda choreographed an entire show around it in the 1970s. He used a variety of flowing patterns and lyrical movements to express the beauty of this music. Today, we have BDE's very own Carolina from Croatia to demonstrate her rendition of this classical style of dance. Let's enjoy. Yeah, 
Carolina for reminding us that traditional and classic dances are just as beautiful today as they were decades ago. Now moving on to something completely different, let's check out our fusion artist Fallon. She is incredibly innovative and she's going to be doing a piece by Asadi called Three Wishes. Let's take a look.
super creative. Our next performer, Natalie, comes to us from Puerto Rico. Besides being a phenomenal dancer, Natalie also studies the Arabic language and culture. She is one of the most authentic performers of Egyptian style of dance, ranging from Ra'sharki all the way to folklore. Today, she will share a brand new Belladi piece with us. So let's get transported back to Egypt with Natalie's performance. for yet another incredible performance. I never get tired of watching you dance. You always bring something so internal and so special. Thank you for that. And as sad as I am to say, we're coming to our last performer, but I wanted to make sure, and Olga of course made sure, that we had something flaming hot for you, literally flaming hot. And Paulina Rawson is originally from Chile, but lives in Sweden. She is gonna be performing something so hot for you. It's gonna to be to a new rendition of Betwana Speak, a unique take on an old classic.
much for tuning in to BDE's Spring Awakening Hofla. We hope you enjoy the incredible variety of dances that we've had in the show. And as always, we wish that you continue dancing, continue to stay inspired, and just never give up. It's hard to believe that it's been a one year anniversary since we've all been on lockdown. We really, really, really look forward to seeing you and dancing with you and hugging you uh, in the very, very near future. We hope that with the beginning of spring, with all of these new beginnings, we will find new inspirations, new motivations, and always continue to look forward towards the best. Sorry, Olga, I couldn't find any bunny ears here on the island, but let me just thank you so much for your creativity, your intelligence, and your many, many moments of humor. I, I had a lot of fun. I know our dancers had a lot of fun putting this together. And I just hope that this Hofla was helpful for all of you out there to combat isolation, to give you moments of hope as we get through this, and also just some inspiration as we spring forward into a new chapter, a rebirth and a recharge. And I'm so looking forward to seeing you all soon, to hugging you in person and to seeing you face to face. And until then, I'll be seeing you online. And thank you again, Olga, for the incredible production. These hoplas are so fun. I so look forward to them every time. So we'll be putting some on the calendar soon. So we'll be seeing you soon and hope you have a wonderful spring. Bye. Bye.